Hello, how are you doing? Alright, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but what happens online stays on Google forever. So we're going to be talking about developing your digital identity. So what is your digital identity? It's like your brand. And I know educators out there are like, brand? I'm not Apple. I'm not Google. I'm not Tide. But essentially, your brand is your reputation. It is what people believe to be who you are and what you are. Now, uh, has everyone ever Googled themselves? You must. I Google myself often. I even check my district website to make sure my job isn't posted. <laughs> so, in talking about your brand, it's who you are. Uh, it is what you do. Uh, are you a teacher? Are you an instructional technologist, director of technology? Uh, are you someone who just kind of hangs around and collects your check at the last working day of the month? Um, what you, oops, I'm going fast. Uh, what, what you are is what you have to offer. Uh, is your expertise, is what you want to be known uh, to the world. Do you like renaissance fairs? Do you like knitting? Do you like cooking? This all is about shaping your narrative so that when people see you, they have the impression that you want them to have. So how does this apply online? Well, this all goes to what you post online, the, the sites that you visit, uh, things that you share, uh, all of that. Because everything you post online communicates to the world who you are, what you are, and what you have to offer. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, uh, be aware of the texts uh, that you post out there, the pictures that you post. Uh, because everything, again, leaves an impression on when people Google you, these things pop up. So do the sites that you join. Now, everyone in here is over the age of 21, and you can join any site you want to do. But understand, when people do that Google search, your name will pop up to certain sites that you are associated with. So I, again, I Google myself, so Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and some other sites, and if you kind of check down past the fifth page, other stuff will pop up. But trust me, it's still clean, still clean. So you want to shape the narrative of your identity. And how do you do that? You're going to do that by, I don't want to say tricking the algorithm, but what you want to do is to post content that allows what you want to come up in the searches as opposed to allowing what other people have posted to come up. So you want to have a professional photo. You want to have the same photo on your bio, on LinkedIn, Facebook, other places. You want it to be professional. You want to look good. You want to choose a professional email, okay? I would always suggest you do your name. Now, I know everyone doesn't have a last name like the import, so you might not be able to sort of get your name the way you want it. But again, you want to avoid stuff like strawberry pie as your email address. Now, be careful of what you post and what you text and the pictures you post, because again, when every time someone Googles you, all of this comes up in the Google search and people begin to form an opinion of you. So what do you do? Have a podcast. I have a podcast. You can vlog. You can blog. Uh, you can do all of these things to shape, again, the narrative of who you are, what you are, and what you have to offer. Because what you are doing is trying to shape your narrative. Now, what not to do is if you're going to be out dancing, okay, keep it in here. Keep it in here. Okay? Maybe you do the robots. But what you don't want to do is drop it like it's hot. <laughs> You don't want to do other things because when people take those photos, they go online and will come up in a search. Avoid alcohol. Okay? Again, everyone here can drink a little liquid courage, but it will get you in trouble when it pops up in the search. Now, I don't have to tell you about the career advisory. Basically, that means keep your clothes on and don't send photos of yourself that can be compromising because today's romantic moment can be tomorrow's viral moment. Uh, oh, anyone here heard of the smart, the hot mic where people on TV forget the microphone is on, they go to the bathroom, they talk amongst each other and it's out there. We now have the hot smartphone. So just because you're in Brazil doesn't mean you can do whatever you want to do because the photos get out there. Now I want to conclude by saying 
Be yourself. If you like Renaissance fairs, get out there and do it. You like dressing up like a clown, by all means, clown it up. But understand that what comes out will affect your reputation. Let's connect. I am on Twitter. Uh, I am Dr. Will. I want to thank you for being a part of my most terrifying moment today. Thank you.